Well, a classic function in terms of Taylor polynomials or Taylor approximations is the exponential function e to the power x. Well, suppose a equals zero. Well, we know a lot about this function, right? So we know that f prime equals the exponential function, f prime equals f, f double prime equals f. All the derivatives are the same function e to the power x. So we may write Taylor approximations like so for order 3, for instance. So this is the cubic function tf0 in x, which equals f0 plus f prime 0 times x minus 0 plus f double prime 0 divided by 2 times x minus 0 squared plus the third yeah, so times x minus 0 squared plus the third derivative in 0 divided by 3 factorial which is 6 times x minus 0 to the power 3 and all the derivatives are equal to e to the power 0 so f0 is e to the power 0 which is 1 plus 1 times x minus 0 which equals x plus 1 times a half times x squared plus e to the power 0 which is 1 divided by 3 factorial which is 1 over 6 times x to the power 3 so we get as a cubic Taylor approximation we get 1 plus x plus a half times x plus 1 over 6 times x to the power 3 And uh, there's no reason to stop for uh, for the third order Taylor approximation. So in this uh, in this picture we see the function in black, and uh, the respective Taylor polynomials in blue. We get the linear approximation, and and so forth. But there's no reason to stop at order three because we know that all that that f x equals e to the power x is infinitely many times differentiable, so we uh, may consider Taylor approximations of any degree. And uh, there's a very famous formula, um, and also in a more advanced course of uh, calculus you will learn, that we may write e to the power x as an infinite Taylor series expansion, so as an infinite polynomial, and uh, uh, this this one is determined by adding uh, terms of 1 over n factorial times x to the power n, which is, is merely uh, uh, derived from a higher order Taylor approximation. But this belongs to a more advanced course, and that e to the power x always e equals this infinite sum uh, remains to be shown over there.